got our 2015 Tahoe in the shop and it's bouncing like a baby buggy. Welcome to Tech Garage, presented by rockauto.com. Well, Brian, we went ahead and put the fronts on. I know you did a great job with that. Took it out on a test drive. What did you find? You know, it felt really good. I uh, like how it drove down the road. Big improvement, over 100,000 miles on this thing. But the rear with the jounce test said, I still want to be replaced. So we got to get those rears swapped out too. Yeah, you know, before you do that, this is a magneto rheological, even though I could say that word. That's a lot of syllables. Ride. We'll call it Magna Ride from now on out. But your fronts, you got a couple demos there. Tell us about the fronts. Not so easy to do. Yeah, it wasn't so easy to do. There's a tremendous amount of technology at every corner of this vehicle, air, magnetics, all that. There's a wiring harness up here. We had to wrestle our way through that. But we got it out and got it replaced. I feel really good about that. The one question I have before you get into all this technology today is why would you bring your makeup to the table? Yeah, that's very expensive makeup, man. That's the MR fluid. We'll get that in a minute. But I'll tell you what, you get to work on the rear shocks and I'll actually show you how this system works. And that's what I said. It's a Magno Rheological Ride. GM calls it Magna Ride. You probably heard it before. How does it work? That's the magic of it all. You can see I have it laid out here on the table. And let's go ahead and start with the front shocks. Now, our front shocks, they're electrically driven. So I have a little electrical connector right here with two terminals that has to get pushed up and plugged in. Well, once that's plugged in, you have a computer right here that's sensing it. And we'll look at that in a minute. Now, on the rears, I actually have air shocks right here. These are air shocks, and they're driven by this air pump that's in the rear of the system. So as the air pump starts to drive it, it's gonna lift it up or down as it goes. Now, how does it work? Well, you have these sensors right here. You actually have a front sensor. Now the front sensor rides up and down and it tells the height of the vehicle. If it starts to go really fast, well, it knows it can do with the shocks I'm gonna show you here in a second. The rear one's located right here. Once again, I wanna know the height in the rear when I'm hitting bumps, what's going on? Well, what's going on over a thousand times per second. So I'm talking about milliseconds of action. That computer is going to go ahead and it's either going to energize these or it's going to energize the air pump. Either way, we're going to get it under control. Now, let me show you the beauty and the magic of this system. Let's go back to the basics of shock absorbers. You know, we started out with the monotube shock absorber right here. It was just a single tube right here and the single tube would allow the fluid to go past this little valving and the valving determined how it bounced. These things control spring oscillations. Now here's another one right here. This is a gas shock. Now what makes it a gas shock? Well, there's a gas chamber right here. This gas chamber holds pressure on the liquid so you don't get any aeration in the system when it's going really fast. Now speaking of going really fast, let's look at our Magna Ride system, our Magno Rheological Ride. This is pretty cool because I got it right here. This is the one that Brian took off the front of the car. You can see it leaked out all the fluid. Well, he asked about my makeup a little bit earlier. That big old blob is what was left in there. Once all the oil was out, that's all there was. There's supposed to be fluid in there. Now look inside of here. This is pretty cool. You got the wires feeding down to these magnets in here. What do we do? Well, we energize it or de-energize it. We energize it. We make the fluid real thick, real viscous. It's harder to go through these chambers and it makes the ride very stiff. Once again, if I take it and I take the magnetism away from it, well, the fluid's gonna become real thin and it's easy to flow through so you can get more of a bounce in the vehicle. Now, what's in there? It's called MR fluid. This is the coolest ever. I have some right here. We have some MR fluid. Brian called it my makeup. Nah, man, this is neat. So you can see it right here. This is about the viscosity of it. So what happens is right now it'd be flowing through there. It would flow through real easily and it'd be very bouncy. Now, if we wanna stiffen it up, I have a magnet on a speaker right here. So I take it and I put it down on the magnet. Watch this. All of a sudden, man, you get this thick viscosity. I mean, that joker will hold up the spoon right there. Now, check this out. As soon as you take the fluid off, voila, it turns into a thinner fluid. So I pick it up, bam. So if I had it up in the air like this and it was flowing, well, you got a nice spongy ride. Down here where it's thick, it's gonna thicken it up does it in a thousand times per second, mind you. It's watching that thing bounce. Well, speaking of bouncing, 